Let's get our next guest out here. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah. I, I don't understand why she's not here, really. Well, uh, hmm? Looking for me? Yeah! Ha, that's 31! Please welcome from the rainforest, Leia the Fruit Bat. Wow, are you a real fruit bat? Hey, I've got the wings, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, do bats only come out at night? Well, bats are night creatures, but just look at us fruit bats. We sometimes fly during the day, see? Mm -hmm. And you fruit bats don't bite necks? Oh, who wants to eat necks when you can eat fruit? Now, is that why they call you a fruit bat? That's one reason. Uh -huh. Another reason is that when we hang upside down, we kind of look like pieces of fruit. Uh -oh. Is it hard for you to hang upside down like that? Hanging isn't hard for a bat. But finding an empty branch can be tough. Those trees can get pretty crowded. Hmm. Now, look at all those food bats. How many of you hang out together? Oh, there can be 10,000 or so in a group, give or take 100. Wow. Whoa, Fruit Bat City! <laughs> yeah, being a fruit bat is a great life. Unless you're the last fruit bat to get to the tree, it's wing to wing up there. You've got to be careful, or you might land on another bat. Uh, say, Leah, are there other kinds of bats besides fruit bats? Oh, yes. We have lots of batty relatives. Although I must say, none of those other bats are quite as good looking as we fruit bats. Mm, but it certainly seems that they all like to hang upside down. Oh, hanging upside down is the best way to sleep. You really should try it, Jake. Uh, uh maybe some other time. Say, look at that bat. She's got a baby. That's a Corolia bat from Central America. They are very devoted to their babies, but that doesn't stop them from looking for food. Well, do all bats eat fruit like you do? Oh, no, most bats eat insects. On purpose? That's right. And then there are bats like this one that eat leaves and other plants. This Corolia bat is eating a popper plant. See how the stem sticks up? Yeah. Well, that makes it easier for the bat to grab her food. You, you mean the plant actually helps the bat? Right, because the bat eats the plant and helps to spread the seeds. Mm. And that grows more plants, right? You are very smart. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, 32. Oh. Mm. And some bats, like this one, eat fish. They use echolocation to spot the fish. Do you know what echolocation is, Stinky? <clears throat> yes, echolocation is when an animal uses an echo to locate things. Very good, Stinky. It's a gift. Whoa, look Whoa. out. Oh, oh, uh, well, uh, and now, Leia, I believe you're going to sing a song for me. Oh, this isn't going to be one of those spooky, scary bat songs, is it? No, it's about the rainforest. And if we don't save the rainforest, fruit bats and other animals may not have a place to live. Whoa. Now that's scary. Mm. Well, here's Leia with the Fruit Bat song. Mm. Don't chop that tree, it's hung to me. I need that fruit to eat. Don't clear that hill, it's a forest still. It ain't no city street. I'm just a bat and come to that. Don't hang about in town. With all my friends, we've days to spend just hanging upside down. Take a breeze through the trees. You boogie through the night, if you please. As I fly through the sky, it's chop chop. Watch that big tree fall. Chop chop, green and proud and tall. Chop chop, nothing left at all. Take that tree, it's home to me. Don't haul away those trunks. It's not just me who needs a tree. It's birds and bees and fleas and skunks. And no one knows where ozone goes. But we've all got to try. Or we'll all disappear right through a hole right through the sky. Goodbye. Thank you for the song, Leah. Yeah, and good luck with the rainforest.